In my books, a number of the Tai Chi books, especially the book Pong and Surge, I've talked about something called the countersink, and that's a technique for cultivating your internal energy. It's extremely simple and extremely subtle, and I think it's very easy for it to get lost in the shuffle because of its simplicity and it's, uh, it's so plain visually that it can't compare to the things that are flashy, athletic, or theatrical. And we all love those things that are flashy and athletic and theatrical to the extent that we lose any appreciation for the real power of the art, which comes in very small, uh, it comes from very small refined practices. So I want to just quickly review the countersink to make sure that give you every chance to try it and feel its power. And if you overlook this video and just go for something more fun and more athletic or more theatrical, that's up to you. But I'll give you the chance here. The first thing you have to know is at least one of the seven poses in the book Pong. If you know the entire Zhang Manqing form, then great, you can do it. You can do this countersink technique for any of those poses or all of them, anytime you want. But all you really need is one of those. So there's a number of those in there. Uh, one of them is left ward off. We could use that as an example. But they all have the same principle: front knee over toe, rear foot flat, waist facing to the vector of the pose, bend the hip drawing so that you're sitting comfortably upright and relaxed. That's just the bare minimum. Then, suppose we use left, left ward off as our sample pose. The countersink will be in three simple stages. There, there are other ways to do it. There are other variations, but here's a simple one. The countersink involves taking the pose, whether you're doing the whole form or the single pose. Now, sink your lower body only, just your legs. Put your mind in your legs from foot to pelvis. Only the lower body sinks, and it hardly sinks at all. This is what I meant when I emphasized the visual plainness and uh, monotony of this. It's nothing to see, nothing to see here, but a lot to feel. So let the lower body, that's step one, let the lower body sink. Now, put your mind in the upper body, fingertips to pelvis, this whole region, chest, head, neck, back, arms, everything, fingers. Just sink the upper body with your mind engaged. Let, let the lower body remain invariant. That's step two. Now the final step three, engage your mind throughout your body everywhere. Top of your head, the fingertips, your feet, the soles of your feet, your hips, everything. Now just sink the entire body with your mind present. So this final stage is not just the legs dropping you. It's not just compressing the upper body. It's everything sinking together. It's different because your mind is engaged throughout. The countersink can be done in any of the poses, so I want to show it again with the basic push pose. So again, you've got to get your fundamentals right as far as the front knee over toe, the waist aligned with the vector of the pose, the hip joint bent, body upright and relaxed, rear foot flat. And let's say we do our arms in this mode. So this is Feng Lu Ji An. This is the An phase of Grab Sparrow's Tail. And again, if we want to do countersink, step one, sink the lower body only. So from the pelvis to the soles of your feet. Keep your arms where they are. Keep your upper body where it is. It's very subtle. Step two, compress the upper body. Let the legs remain as they are, same level. And just a feeling of compressing, like a little accordion. Your upper body only. Engage your fingertips, engage your hands, engage your arms. Let that sink. Visually, not much. A lot going on inside. Now, everything. Put your mind throughout your body. Your head, your arms, fingers, hands, pelvis, hips, back, spine, stomach, waist, thighs, calves, ankles, soles of your feet. Fingertips again. All of it. All of it sinks together. Don't have any gaps. Don't let just your lower body do the work. As you do that, you'll feel this tremendous surge. This is an extremely powerful technique. Very easy to overlook. Try it, you'll love it.